So I just had something really scary happen to me. And so I pulled over here because I kind of need to gather myself. I'm not even quite sure I'm ready to talk about it right now. I don't really even know what to think. But it's 1.25 in the morning and I picked up a McDonald's order and I took it to a not so great neighborhood, but really didn't have any concerns to be honest. I pulled up at the end of the driveway and got out, walked up the driveway, handed the bag to a little girl who was maybe 10 that was standing in the driveway. And I went back to get in my car. And as I'm getting in my car, I heard a horn honk from the driveway, which I thought was just like an, a, car, a car alarm for a minute. And I thought I heard somebody say, what you doing, cracker? Put that down. And I was like, I don't know if they're talking to me or what, but I'm just gonna get back in my car and go. Cause I did not pull in the driveway cause the driveway was full. I pulled up next to the driveway. So that way when I was finished, I could just take off. So anyway, I thought, oh, surely whoever that was, they weren't talking to me and what whatnot. So I went ahead and pulled off and as I'm pulling down the road, of course, I check my rearview mirror and I see that a car has pulled out of the driveway and is now behind me. Okay, it's a coincidence. They're probably going to the gas station or something. This is what I'm thinking. So I took a left, got up to the stop sign, took another left, car still behind me. It's making me a little bit nervous at this point, but I thought, oh, I'm sure it's fine. It's just, I'm sure I'm just being silly because it's late. So then the car gets next to me in the lane and it's obvious because there's nowhere to turn that they're trying to stay even with me. And he starts honking at me and he rolls down his window and I looked over. So I rolled my window down and he says, what the fuck were you doing in my yard at my house? And I said, um, I was delivering McDonald's. And he goes, oh, sorry, but it was two African-American males in the car who came at me very aggressively. And then as soon as I said I was delivering McDonald's, and then he says, oh, okay, sorry. And they left. I'm like, What's going on at your house? Number one, that the 10 or 11 year old is outside getting a McDonald's bag or whatever. And you're sitting in a car that is off in the driveway with another male and then chasing down someone that just stopped at your house with an Uber bag. I mean, I have my Uber Eats bag with the food in it that I carried up to the house. It's not that hard to see, it's an Uber Eats bag. It's bright green. Anyway, that's the first time I've had anything like that happen to me when I've been delivering out at night, but it kind of shook me. It shook me. Anyway, something to think about. All right. All right, well, you know, last night I had that uh, kind of scary order where those guys followed me in the car. Anyway, I just got a Chick-fil-A order and it's taking me back to that same street, but it is only 7.20 at night, so hopefully everything will go okay. Um, I did text the customer and told them to have their front porch light on, um, but I can't lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this. Um, and I shouldn't be. I mean, it's what's the odds something's gonna happen again. But it is earlier, so. But it's just strange that I got another order and it's in that same, it's not even on the same street, it's the same block. It's the 2600 block of 
this certain street, which I won't say. Um, but I do have the address written down of the one from last night, so I will not take another order to that house. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes, but I don't know. Last night had me shooketh. So we'll see. I'll let you know. Thanks. And here we go. Continue on Florida 780 West for three miles. Thank you for getting in my lane, you jerk off. All right, so we are headed to the drop-off. Chick fil -A, six items. And I believe this was 975, I think. Something like that. 925, 975, I don't remember. But anyway, I was pretty bothered last night after that little incident. And I, after I pulled over and I filmed my little video, I actually sat in that parking lot for several hours and I just worked on a video that I am making for my husband. All right, so as I was saying, so I sat in the parking lot last night for several hours and I worked on a video that I'm making for my husband for our anniversary. And <clears throat> anyway, so tonight when I got that order and I saw the address it was going to, I hesitated. Um, however, I am very glad now that I did take the order because I went and dropped it off and the girl I dropped it off to was super nice, super nice. And so I told her the story about what happened last night. And I didn't tell her what the address was or the people, you know, their names or anything like that. And as, when I started telling her the story, she knew exactly what house I was talking about. And she told me that everybody else in that neighborhood is really nice and, you know, has kids and everything, you know, that everybody's good. It's just that one house is a problem. And she said they have loud parties and these dudes are always sitting out in their car with their lights on and stuff, which I told her last night they didn't have their lights on because I didn't even know they were sitting in the car. Um, but anyway, she made me feel a lot better about it because it's obvious that this house is a problem and the rest of the neighborhood is good. And you know, not only was she very nice, but you know, she was clean cut. You could tell she was educated. I mean, you know, she wasn't some scumbag or, you know, somebody that looked like they were on the wrong side of the tracks or whatever. It was, you know, she, she was good. So I feel much better at least about that neighborhood and just to avoid that house completely. Um, so anyway, I'm glad I took the order because it did make me feel better. But, you know, just goes to show, you just never know what can happen when you're out there delivering, you know, especially late at night. So, everybody be careful out there. All right, that's it for now. Thanks, and please like and subscribe, and again, be careful. Thanks.